Well, I, I'll start off by telling you that I'm exhausted. Um, today is Friday, September 20th, 2019. Um, journal number 175 and T plus 171. Um, this morning, early this morning, really early this morning, oh dark, oh dark 30 this morning, um, our son and daughter-in-law called us to <laughs> called us to invite us to a, a birthday party, uh, an imminent birthday party for our fourth grandchild, their uh, brand new daughter, and uh, that took us out of the house at, at, at an ungodly um, hour on a trip from Simi Valley to. Uh, Santa Monica, and it, 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 you, I marvel uh, at the insanity of how many cars in Southern California are on the road, uh, particularly on the 118 uh, Ronald Reagan Freeway or on the uh, 405. It, it's just mind boggling. Uh, when I was in business and the auto repair shop was up and running. I always um, would joke and say that that, that it's just, it's not traffic; it's opportunity. Um, but it's traffic, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. It's still traffic, and it's still unnerving. Um, and it, it, it the bottom line is that we spent pretty much the whole day down there. Um, adjusting to the absolute wonder of new life. And uh, for me, recognizing how really blessed and fortunate I am uh, to be able to see this, uh, which, you know, isn't guaranteed for any of us uh, to have that kind of a, a, a celebration and, and to realize how, how lucky we are when we get to participate in, in, in we get to participate in something like that. My, Leslie likes to say that that uh, you have a responsibility to be at everyone's celebration, any celebration, uh, especially a celebration that celebrates new life. And I agree, and it got me to thinking about how fortunate I am. It also got me to thinking uh, about my own neuroses. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I had a college professor once who, who defined uh, psychosis as the kind of crazy you are. So maybe that same definition applies to neuroses as well. And, and I was thinking about about my own neuroses and, and the compulsion to work. And Leslie, you know, reminded me that, that uh, everybody's entitled to time off for good behavior. There was something about that phrase that just sort of reverberated for me. And I started to think about, you know, maybe modifying it slightly so that it would serve as a reminder that it isn't always time off for good behavior, but realistically that time off is good behavior. Um, and as such, we should understand that and recognize its importance um, as far as recharging our own batteries and refueling uh, so that we can go on to do, you know, still bigger and better things. And uh, I think that's that's really what I'd like to, to leave you with on this particular Friday evening is that time off is is incredibly valuable. And, it's, and as Stephen Covey um, said in, in uh, Seven Habits, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, it's important to take time to sharpen the saw, right? So uh, 
by resting, you can actually return to whatever tasks you have with, you know, with more uh, energy, more vitality and, and uh, a deeper commitment to getting them done. So I wanted you to think about that. And I didn't want to let the evening go without checking in. Uh, I'd also like to, to let you all know uh, about a podcast interview that I did just a couple of days ago. And uh, the fact that it's online now, and I will go ahead and, and uh, post that URL in the written blog that attaches to this video. Uh, it's it's really, a, a, I think, a very, very good interview. Uh, Carm Capriota, Capriotto and Remarkable Results Radio uh, is, is a show um, primarily for the aftermarket, the automotive aftermarket in this country. And, and as, uh, as, as I've defined the aftermarket for you before, it's everything that occurs after the vehicle is conceived, designed, manufactured, and then sold. And particularly everything that happens within the independent sector of the aftermarket outside the dealership network. CARM's show, Remarkable Results Radio, is, is perhaps the leading um, podcast of its type in our industry. And CARM is certainly one of the most respected um, journalists around. And I think he did a really good job of helping me uh, bring out the story of Misfire, how it came to be and, and what it's all about. So if you get a chance, you might want to go ahead and take a listen to that. Uh, he did a really good job with it. And uh, I said before, uh, and, and, I'll, uh, and I said it during the interview, sitting down with Carm is, is like going to a local coffee shop and having a really uh, meaningful and interesting, exciting conversation with a really good friend. And that's what makes for good, uh, a good recording. So um, take a minute and do that. In the meantime, since I've been up for many more hours than I'm used to being up and I'm really tired, more tired than I've been in a long time, uh, I will just leave you with that that thought um, that time off is good behavior and probably all of us need a little bit more of it uh, as we move towards success. It's a, a really good habit to be in. Uh, until that time, we get together again. Stay well, take care. Uh, we got another big day tomorrow. Bye-bye.